Fight forever on the air. Dave Bradshaw here alongside Met Damasi as we're looking at two of the hottest young talents in Europe today. The Bull of the Village, Gulyash Jr. and Elia Blue. Met, how do you see this one? Oh, this is going to be a real tough one to guess. It's a tough cookie. It's the first time these two ever face each other. Two incredible young talents. One's from Germany, one's from Hungary. But let's see who comes out on top here. Well, we got a, an essentially clean break there from from Gulyash to start things off. These two locking up. And this time it's Bloom who gets Gulyash into the corner. Using that mobility, yeah. giving it right back to Gulyash. Yeah, issuing the receipt there. Of course, Bloom's had a pretty torrid time in recent months. He's been part of that effort against that, that domineering force that has entered WXW in Amboss. I think he might enjoy the fact that he's uh, got a night off from that, although it's not exactly a, a night off when you're in there against Gulyash. No, the Bull of the Village can definitely take you apart. The guy's got power, he's got strength, and he's got the... F well, he doesn't have the, the uh, movement of Elia Bloom, and that's definitely going to be his tactic here. Outspeed, outmaneuver the larger Gulyash. Yeah, that's what Bloom's going to have to rely on, because Gulyash, a, a real powerhouse. We've seen that time and time again in his WXW career so far. There's a side headlock from Bloom, who's going to try and use the middle road to his advantage, and does with a headlock takedown. Well done. You see, he used that, ma that maneuverability that he has to add that extra momentum to move the big man. Head scissors now, though. Those big tree trunk-like legs of Gulyash Jr. You can see that Bloom knows he needs to get out of there quickly and does so. There was a, a risk of that oxygen supply to the brain being cut off between those legs. And that's a smart move. Don't... He didn't attack right away. Neither did Gulyash. They're taking a minute. They're trying to feel each other out. You always got to be careful when it's a new opponent that you're in the ring with. Yeah, big crowd, big platform for these two young men to compete on. Neither wants to make a, a fatal mistake early on in the match. Oh, Gulyash, that was smart though, holding on to the ropes. He telegraphed what, what Bloom was going to do. Bloom though fires back with an arm drag. He definitely does. He's trying to send the big man into the ropes. Put his head down too early. Put his head down way too early. Did Gulyash and he pays the price with the Russian leg sweep. Elia Blue, if he goes for the cover, he can win this, but he's nipping up. Going to try and do some more damage. Standing drop kick sends Gulyash down. What beautiful form on that into the cover. It's going for the pin and a kick out on two from the Bull of the Village. He's still alive. The Bull's still got some kicking to do. Elia Bloom in control here. Doing a good job of trying to keep the big man under a barrage of damage. Yeah, he's got Gulyash rattled here. He needs to capitalize if he possibly can. He's allowing him back into it a little bit with those body shots. Here come the left hands and the big right hand from Gulyash. Gulyash can jab here. Caught. Swinging neck breaker is what he was possibly looking for. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he was looking for. Couldn't get it though. Yeah. And Gulyash does the elbow. It's a forearm smash of his own, flying through the air was Gulyash, putting his body weight down on Bloom, who's still able to get out. At one, showing a lot of fight is Aliyah Bloom. But my God, Gulyash flying into Bloom, a big man like that, moving like that, it's incredible. He has deceptive agility, does Gulyash Jr. And that's one of the things I think that's set him apart from a lot of the young talent across the continent in these past couple of years. Big uppercut there as well, and this time it's a two count. Getting closer, inching ever so closer to that win is Gulyash with that powerful uppercut. <laughs> but he seems like he's taking his time here. And a big chop from Gulyash, and that's what we were talking about. He's a heavy hitter. He's this young man from deep in the Hungarian countryside, from a family of wrestlers. It really does flow through his blood. He's just a, a fighter from birth, it feels like, with Gulyash Jr. You could chop down trees with arms like that. He probably has. I don't doubt it. But Ilya Bloom's showing some fight. The one thing we've learned about Ilya Bloom in the past few months, especially in his battles against Ambos, is that he has heart, but it doesn't matter how much heart you have, if you get dropped like that, Gulyash's going to follow up. It's a senton splash. 
Guyash drapes himself over Ilya Bloom and a oh, kick out by Bloom by the counter into a crucifix cover and oh, he nearly got him. Very, very nearly. Two and nine tenths. That was very close. Oh, into the package. Inside cradle, the inside cradle. Got him Hudson. Guyash found a way out with a half a second to spare. Oh, what a knee. What a knee into the side of the head, right into the temple. A cannonball for the follow up from Guyash. I think Elias now. Somewhere in those Hungarian woods in the cover. And that is the closest I think that Guyash has come to picking up the win here on Fight Forever against Elia Bloom. Judging from his reaction, he thinks he should have gotten the win after that. We'd love to know what you think of these two young athletes. Make sure you join the conversation in the comments. Tell us what you think of Bloom and Guyash Jr. Guyash Jr. might not be thinking much for a while. He just headbutted the turnbuckle. Big clothesline. Bloom is staying on him there with those clotheslines, keeping the man in the corner. Ducks the clothesline. Here comes Guliash, though. The big lariat. Big, big lariat from Elia Bloom. He's looking for it. Swinging neckbreaker. The parting gift from Elia Bloom. Will it be a parting gift?